is Sister Elements. This track is called Closer and I hope you enjoy it.
Sister Element is uh, my artist name. I used to go under the name Sarah Saeed and I sort of relaunched around three years ago um, under my new artist name and it reflected a change in my sort of musical style and my musical journey and I feel is sort of uh, reflective of the artist that I am today. The sound is veering away from just being rhythmic and lyrical to a lot more vocal style in there. Um, having trained in Indian classical vocals for a couple of years and having the great teaching that I've, I've been um, receiving, it's had a massive impact on my music and um, I feel like I've matured into a more sort of um, layered artist and that's what you want really as you're, as you're growing as a, as a musician and as a vocalist and as a singer and songwriter, you want to feel that you're sort of challenging yourself and definitely the new work I feel reflects those changes and those new influences as well. With this particular track Closer, I was on a train journey quite late um, from uh, London up to the north and it was like an eight hour train journey and it was a night train and I was quite um, keen to write something about meditation and reflection and about traveling at night and so the tempora on the track became the base for the song and really this feeling of um, letting go and being free and allowing the the night to sort of take you on its on its path. Closer was a track that started with this drone and this meditation and vocally and lyrically it came from there. The tempora allows me to uh, create a lot more vocal style than just sitting down and writing a song and then getting a beat. Or... So that's one particular way that I work but um, you know when, when I'm working with my six piece band for example it's a totally different process because it's a lot more collaborative and sometimes the work's coming out of uh, a range of musical ideas and inputs. And other times I, you know, I literally will write a song and the song's there for, for us to, to work with lyrically. I think the festival is an amazing opportunity for both the artists and the audiences to share and receive work. Um, it's been uh, really exciting to be asked to participate in, in this section of the video the music videos and for me it's great because I can share my work with people having had a break and do it in a way that um, is uh, within a sort of festival context and um, I think there's going to be some really exciting artists coming up new music that people can check out and um, I think the the ethos and the vision of the festival is great because um, as well as having and featuring new British Asian talent and artists, it also allows music to be appreciated for its uh, intrinsic quality. The new work that I'm creating is about a unique and honest voice, um, work that shares a story and emotion with audiences and work that creates a feeling of collaboration when people hear it, that they can hear the influences of the musicians and all the great people that I've been working with over the last few years in this very sort of creating phase rather than sharing phase. <laughs>
Maggie Eights is um, a band like you've never heard before. Um, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, um, you know, time will tell, I suppose. Uh, but no, we just we try and we try and bring um, old Bollywood to contemporary electronic, beatsy, dancey music, and we just sort of do a lot of this thing, you know, where you're sort of mashing two very different things up and then seeing how, you know where it takes you. So hopefully when you listen to our songs you kinda you kinda get get a sense that here's a band that's trying to be puffy, here's a band that's trying to be a little bit rocky, here's a band that's trying to be a bit folky and also kind of you know dancey at the same time. So it's just um yeah. Um well Maggie it's a band uh that Mark uh who plays guitar and bass in the band formed about ten years back. Um, and we all kind of eventually came into the band at different points um, and we basically had an idea where you know we'd bring Western and Eastern influences together and try and create something different which is what the band's really about. Well um, there's me, Niv, I play a uh, bass, uh, I sing and I also play the sampler. Um, there's Mark who plays guitar, banjo, sampler, bass, um, there's Pete who plays uh, keyboard, sampler and bass um, and there's Matt who sings and drums 
and I'm sure he can play bass and play sample as well, but we actually, we need something constant in the band and so we kind of make him stick to his instrument. But as you might have guessed from what I just said, we do a lot of switching um, instruments about and that's kind of our look in a sense. I think it's, it's, it's a track that kind of describes um, a time in your life when maybe you felt sort of paralysed um, with fear and you were kind of trying to look for something to uplift you at that moment and yeah and music is what kind of you know made that happen there's like a sadness to it there's a joy to it there's heartbreak there's love there's so many different emotions in that one little song um, that's quite repetitive as well so yeah I'd say it's a it's a sensitive song well the songwriting process works in this way we all get together on a Thursday evening um, at about seven o'clock we all have some food together and then we just start to jam by about eight o'clock um, and literally anything that comes you know you know it could be like a great sound that I found on you know a Lata Mangeshkar CD or something like that or you know Mark might just come up with a riff or Pete might find like a a really kooky piano sound. It could be anything and we literally just play the song out. Um, I put some wailing uh, vocals uh, on top of it. Um, the boys do three-part harmonies um, and we just record the entire process um, after which we then listen back to it and then find bits that actually work that we could then develop uh, a sound you know more interesting than the others um, and yeah and that's how our songs are basically created. Well, my influences in particular uh, come from everything that I've grown up on and in a sense I see myself as like an absorber of everywhere I go I try and suck out anything that I find interesting. So I'm really into bands like, um, I don't know if you know, you know, Broadcast and a band called Stereolab. Um, I love this band called Beach House where this girl sings in quite an androgynous sort of way. Um, I love Kate Bush's kind of seductive uh, style of singing. Um, I like a bit of like lazy Morrissey-esque vocals. And I think everyone in the band just has such kind of, we're all very similar in a way, but they all listen to so many different things. Like Matt's quite into poppy stuff and, you know, um, dancey stuff. And Mark's really into sort of guitar based music. Um, so literally, you know, it could come from anywhere. Yeah, the Eastern Electronic Festival um, to me sounds like a great idea actually because I haven't really heard of many festivals that kind of celebrate and promote um, you know, Eastern acts and especially Eastern Electronic acts. You get a lot of Asian acts that maybe do you know, R&B and Bhangra and that sort of thing but then to actually have an electronic, you know, like a platform for electronic musicians and it's just something different and I think it's going to be great. I'm really excited. Well, um, I have to say, uh, I found the filming in the studio was great. It was just so professional and I didn't expect it to be like that. I thought we'd walk into a room with a bunch of students who didn't know what they're doing and, you know, sort of like play by ear. But no, it was, it was great. I mean, everything from the atmosphere that was created to the lighting to actually getting into character and getting into the zone. I think I actually got quite emotional at one point in the song and I was thinking, oh my gosh, where did that come from? I didn't expect this to happen. So yeah, no, it was brilliant. Um, well, you can find us on Facebook. We're just called Maggie 8 uh, on Facebook. Uh, we're on Twitter and I think we're Maggie 8 Music on Twitter. Um, you can also uh, find some videos that we've done uh, from way back on YouTube um, and uh, on Tumblr. And you can actually buy our first EP, which is available on uh, gorgeous vinyl um, on, on Bandcamp and Big Cartel. So this is uh, our first EP and it's called This Charming Lady. That's my mum on the front cover looking incredibly moody as a child. Um, she's never been particularly happy about the photo. I mean, she, she always says, why not pick something where I look prettier? But anyway. Um, Inside, that's um, my dad from his college days um, rocking some bell bottoms that we've reddened up. And on the other side is the hers section, where <laughs> uh, that's my mum with some of her college mates, um, you know, in bindis and saris, and that's just how it was in the 70s. So, yeah, that's our first EP, and it's called This Charming Lady, and yeah. You can buy that on Bandcamp, Big Cartel, um, and also Norman Records, actually. Oh.